I want to say uh, thanks to the president for having trust on me and giving me the responsibility again to lead the Ministry of Energy. I don't take that for granted, but I believe that it is because of the teamwork with the team whom I am here with that we were able to do one or two things successfully. But we know the mandate again requires more effort and that calls upon all of us the teamwork which we have been having. And I want to promise that um, we will double our efforts in terms of the, uh, running the ministry forward and we will be open. We want to run the ministry in an open policy whereby we don't hide anything. And I call upon all of us, the media, I mean this is our country, uh, all of us uh, that uh, we require your support. We cannot say that uh, even if I have my technical team without the media uh, uh, getting involved, we need your support so that whatever we are doing, uh, you report it objectively. And we are not saying whatever you write, even if it is negative, we will take that as a step forward so that we can rectify than keeping quiet. So we will open, we'll have an open policy whereby even if you need some more technical uh, consultation so that you understand uh, some of the issues, I will avail myself, the team who are here, uh, they will avail themselves. And I've told them that uh, going forward, uh, they should not be handing over it they are communication people. Communication people are more or less the same as you. If you need any technical person, if you need anything in the Ministry of Energy, we are there for you. Because through you, you will be able to inform Kenyans and the whole world what exactly we are doing. So I wanted to make those few remarks before uh, I embarked on the issues which are there. Coming to the subject of why we are here uh, today is because of some of the stories which have been appearing in our print media, social media, and everywhere uh, about some of the issues which we thought as a ministry we want to put clarity on some of the issues. So I, wa I would like to state that uh, the tariff increment, uh, which has been reported in some of the media houses, I want to say it very well that KPLC or RRC or the ministry has no mandate whatsoever to do any tariff increment. The process is um, the uptake which is the KPLC or any other, be it uh, pipeline, be it any other company, will apply to ERC stating why they need the tariff incre increment. Uh, ERC then will have it uh, in the media, uh, in the print media. They will have it uh, gazetted for the public to give views uh, whether they are okay or not. And uh, it's stipulated for a period of how many days? 45 days. That has to be on the media for 45 days. So in our case, there has never been. And if there will be, it will follow the law as stated, uh, as I stated earlier on. So the, uh, the, the reports which have been saying that uh, KPLC have, have done the tariff uh, increment is not true. They also reports that uh, bills have been uh, electricity bills are being backdated. It's not true. We don't backdate electricity bills. The situation is uh, uh, what we are facing at the moment, at uh, the, the billing which we have, um, a December billing, is the billing fluctuation uh, following an upgrade on the billing system by KPLC. For the last about three months, uh, uh, beginning July, KPLC went into an upgrade of their billing system, uh, which they are now implementing. Uh, they started the implementation in uh, December. They are finalizing their implementation by end of this month. That, will, that touches on about 
two two point four million customers which are on analog i want to put it very clear customers we have at the moment are 6.4 million out of that 2.4 are on analog meters there are other customers which are on uh, prepaid uh, which we have essentially been connecting which is about 3.9 million the other industrial and commercial customers those are about 6000 those are on smart meters you don't need anybody to go to the site to read the meters most of the big industries now kplc uh, can read their meters uh, online on daily basis and on real time i mean basis but the other customers which is a majority of us i mean me included in our domestic it, uh, it cuts across we have to have somebody you have been seeing the meter reading people so out of that we've had a lot of issues and if you see the billing there have been a lot of estimation estimating this month and then that that is why sometimes even people don't receive bills on time or when they receive bills some are zero and then next month you'll find the, a different figure out of that kplc went into a system upgrade uh, to avoid also uh, people who are uh, officers their staff let me let me put it who may not necessarily visit the premises but they give just me figures because they they want to estimate without going necessarily uh, to that uh, to the premises kplc embarked on that and right now uh the systems which we're having uh, in the month of december we have a gadget which all the meter readers uh, must carry. And that gadget works within a radius of 50 meters. So if, let's say, uh, Ministry of Energy, there are several customers who are here, within a radius of meters, that person must be there. So this avoid a staff sitting in the office or having lunch, maybe in a, a Kenyatta market. And, and the duty place, I'm just giving that as an example, the duty place is Nyai House. So if you are supposed to uh, cover Nyaos and, and, and maybe uh, uh, Telecom, the La Posta building, and yet you are in, uh, you are in a Kenyatta market writing bills down, the gadget which we have doesn't allow that. It doesn't work outside the radius of 50 meters. Uh, it works only within the radius of 50 meters. So that is essentially the problem which we have seen in some of the bills some people are saying we have been this month they have been charged twice uh the bill because over three months there have been estimation so right now from december they are now uh, people are working they are getting their, their actual meter readings and what we are going to do because this this analog way forward is to have all the 2.4 million customers on smart meters but as we work on that because the financial implications are there, we are working on that. Uh, we want um, uh, services to be to be uh, to be provided uh, on that. So what what we are doing is um, uh, with the catches which we have, there will be an application which will be uh, announced by this month. Uh, these things came at the time when we are working, and we thought we should clarify. I don't want to preempt. KPLC will announce within this month an application which all the customers will be given on their cell phone so that you, you, as, you also as a customer, what you need to do, you just take a photo of the meter which is installed in your house. That meter translates that data to the billing system of KPLC. This is part of the system upgrade and part of the uh, taking care of our customers that application will be announced in due course by uh, by uh, by kplc but we have also given uh, kplc a directive uh, from today and forth as they work on that there will be no estimation of meters you are bill on your actuals or you are not bill so that people avoid this I think when people have been saying, why is it that this month we are having a bill of 10,000, 
next month I'm having a bill of negative. And then that fluctuation, custom, our customer must know that my bills are averaging 8,000. So that is you do your budgeting for the whole ma one month or one year. You know your consumption of, of electricity is this much 10,000. So that they know it very well and we have given that instructions and I'll still give that instructions. There will be no estimation of meter reading of the 2.4 customers. It has to be actual. We have the cadets now as they announce those uh, 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 application that uh, they should know they should know that however i want to say uh, this problem so that it is not in the, that they are, they are, they, we have, uh, i was checking on the bills of all the the 2.4 there are some bills even when the meter readings their actual meter readings were done it became negative which shows also maybe the person who has been doing has been over uh, billing you. So what KPLC have done uh, in all their uh, uh, banking place where they receive the money, they, they are senior people who are there uh, from addressing all those issues. And anybody, we call upon any Kenyan who has an issue on any billing, it, they will go and they will be sorted out and they will get their rightful billing. So that there should not be any worry. We want to assure Kenyans uh, everything is within uh, management uh, uh, timelines. On the said FCC, which also I saw, I saw something on the an article on that. I I want to say that relatively from the year 2015, when the 280 megawatts of geothermal was introduced, the FCC at that time was about seven shillings and twenty and twenty two shillings uh, twenty two. It came down to about two shillings and thirty-one cents. So from 2015, it has been re relatively uh, within that range of two shillings and thirty cents, all the way less than three shillings. Uh, from um, about um, April this year, uh, the fuel cost, or the beginning of last, not this year, last year, um, since 2017, the fuel cost charge uh, went up from the two shillings and 31 cents, three shillings, to the current one, four shillings and, 30, and 35 cents per kilowatt hour. These, the reasons of that is the world uh, crude oil prices uh, went up. If you see at that time, it was about 30 shillings per, per barrel. If you see as we are talking now, it's about 63 shillings per barrel. It went up twice. So hence, um, uh, the FCC went up. Also, uh, one of the units of our carrier, uh, uh, 30 megawatts, as we are talking, is still down. Uh, 30 megawatts is still out uh, because uh, a part of it requires some repair. And then we had to ship it outside. Uh, uh, it is, uh, when, when are we expecting it, uh, Rebecca? February. February. By next month, we are expecting that uh, unit to be, to be in place. And then the worst thing which happened again last year, the hydrology went down. We had to close Masinga. As you, I think we went with some of you. Uh, I don't know whether some of you, we went with some of you. We took a flight to Masinga uh, twice. And you saw that the hydrology went down. We had to close Masinga, which, which means uh, we, we, we are running 50% of our generation mix is hydro. So when that goes down, uh, the only supplement at the moment which runs on a base load uh, is uh, is uh, is thermal power plants. So the thermal power plants also we we had to use some. But the good news is uh, it, this the, the FCC would have even gone higher than 435. But uh, in August uh, July we launched the line, the first uh, 400 kV line transmission line to Mombasa, which we are now using almost 100 megawatts of geothermal direct to the, to Mombasa. So I want to assure uh, Kenya that um, from now and forth, uh, FCC, these are throughput. We don't, uh, these are money which is paid directly. It is not, uh, it is calculated um, by ERC and we maintain the equilibrium and on, uh, on, we set an equilibrium every month. Like now for this month, uh, ERC will announce by, by, by 14. They are the ones who will give the figure to KPLC that this month 
the FCC is, uh, is likely to be about four shillings and thirty-five cents. When it comes to February now, if the FCC comes down, uh, that will be taken care of by uh, giving the the, the 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 figure. And if there is an overcharge in terms of that, it goes on the recovery. So that that has been the case on how to manage a balance in terms of the FCC so that it doesn't uh, cause a lot of uh, uh, problems in, in terms of the uh, tariff. Therefore, uh, I want to say that um, uh, in my conclusion uh, and going forward, uh, you, there was a directive by His Excellency the President that um, we implement the 50% tariff on the commercial and industrial customers. I want to say it here that that directive has been implemented beginning 1st of December last year. Customers who are enjoying uh, that uh, benefit will see in their bills this month. I don't want to preempt because I'm ready, uh, I'm ready, let's wait for that and then we'll, you know, it's good when the bills are out so that you can, you can charge us accordingly. But I want to say uh, we are very happy that most of the uh, industrial and commercial customers really heed the, uh, the, mo the tariff and their work, the time of use tariff and they, are, they move from 10 p.m. to 6, p, 6 a.m. We've seen so, ma so many companies moving uh, their businesses to that time. But we, we, we want to say that the catch which we, we introduced, which is there, is that you have to have consumed to avoid people closing their business, some uh, uh, industries closing daytime and opening at night. We say if you have been uh, as a company, we, if you have been using 1,000 units per month, you have to have maintain that 1,000 units per month, and anything over that within the same period attracts 50 percent. And I want to say what we have seen in so many uh, uh, companies across is, is, is people are, are heading into that, and, and it is very good. So I, I don't want to say much. Uh, I think I'll open to the questions so that we can we can end but we expect to have a press conference within this month so that we can move forward so good i'll start i want to and how can Uh, let me say that the compensation, there is no compensation for the upgrade. I mean, the upgrade is, um, it, it is within the budget of KPLC. I mean, it, it, we are not saying that because they are upgrading their system, you have, their customers must pay. Already, we are doing even the uh, substation upgrade, we are doing the line. So that is what, under the revenues of KPLC, w there are some revenues which will go into the system's improvement. They are getting also funding, which, is, which goes into that. So that one, I want to say, does uh, the upgrade of the system doesn't uh, doesn't affect uh, that? In fact, it enhances it. Uh, it. It works in contrary. It enhances that. What I had said earlier on, and and, and 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 I was very clear, and I took time. I said previously when they started working on the system from about July, they were doing a lot of estimation. Now, when the system was uh, now up and running from December is when they are using it now uh, for actual taking actual meter reading. So when you see that that fluctuation, uh, uh, people saying we have been charged twice, have been charged uh, more than what I was getting is that because even if you see the fuel cost charge, uh, the fuel cost charge is, is very is more than is less than a shilling. So it's negligible when it comes to the overall uh, tariff uh, cost. Uh, 